In this example, we want to evaluate the following limit. Okay, so we have the uh, limit as x approaches negative 3 of 3 minus the absolute value x divided by 3 plus x. Okay, so first thing we should do here is try a direct substitution. Okay, and that will give us some insight into what to do next. Okay, so if we do a direct substitution, okay, so replacing x with minus 3, okay, we're going to get 3 minus the absolute value of minus 3 divided by uh, 3 minus 3. So we get, okay, so we're going to get 3 minus 3 all divided by 3 minus 3. So we get uh, what's called an indeterminate result, okay? All right, so this is not equal to, uh, 0 over 0 is not equal to 1, okay? So, all right, okay. So what we have to do here is we have to look at this uh, we have to analyze what's going on here. Okay. All right. So we need to look at what's happening here. Okay. So as x is approaching, so x is approaching negative three. Um, so as x gets, so either x, right? So we have to look at looking at the left and right hand limit. Okay. So as x approaches negative three from the right side, um, this is still going to be. A negative value okay as it gets closer and closer to negative three same thing if the limit as this function as x approaches negative three from the left side as it gets closer and closer to negative three the x is still in negative territory okay so we need to recall the definition of the absolute value function okay all right so the absolute value x remember this is mathematically the same as if x is greater or equal to 0, um, we're simply just going to get x, okay? If, if not, okay, if x is strictly less than 0, then we take the negative of the argument, okay? And that's going to be the key for, for doing this problem, okay? In fact, this is the key, this is the key for any kind of uh, problem that involves absolute value, okay? All right, so... Again, so x, right, x is approaching negative 3, okay? So that means for arbit whenever, whenever x gets arbitrarily close to minus 3, we're in, it's going to be a negative value, okay? So that tells us, right, that we're going to use, we need to use this part of the definition, okay? So we're going to rewrite our function, okay? All right, so, right, so since x right so since x is less than zero because it's getting arbitrarily close to minus three so it's a negative negative territory okay so that means our function is it can be written as three minus negative x okay so we're using this part of the definition for absolute value x and all this is going to be divided by three plus x okay so simplifying this, okay, this is going to give us 3 plus x all over 3 plus x, which is 1. So our limit, okay, so the limit is going to be as x approaches negative 3 of 1. So the limit of a constant function, okay, so the limit of a constant is just constant. Okay, so we get 1, okay, so that is the solution to this limit. Okay. So the key here, uh, the key to this problem is to understand how to apply the definition of absolute value. Okay. All right. So since x is getting closer and closer to negative 3, it's getting arbitrarily close to negative 3 from both sides, from the left and right hand side. So we need to use the minus x part of the definition of absolute value. So we replace the absolute value of x with minus x and then simplify the function. And therefore we get our limit, okay, which is 1 in this case. Uh, so down here towards the uh, bottom here, you can see the graph. Uh, this is the graph of the uh, function of 3 minus absolute value x divided by 3 plus x. So you can see it graphically, okay, as x, right, so as x approaches negative 3 from both sides, okay, so, okay, so as x is approaching negative 3, the y values, right, remain on this, they remain here. They remain at the, at the constant value of 1, okay. 
All right, so that's what we showed here in this problem, okay? That the limit, the overall limit exists and it equals to one.